Hello and welcome to Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits channel. Tonight, uh, as part of the homebrew side of things, I'm going to show you, and uh, I'm not in my normal place so the, the camera's not in the best place, um, how to sterilise your equipment. So, we have, let's bring it down so I see, can you see this? Yes. Here's the tube. This is for the when the drain inside of things. So you've got a tube, you've got the rod, and if you're lucky enough to buy one with it already on, this is a tap. This is invaluable because if you're um, putting it into bottles, you can stop it every time, do the lid on your bottle, and then go to the next bottle. So absolutely invaluable if you can get one. Tonight I'm going to be um, decanting the wine into this barrel. Um, I've got enough wine bottles in, this, in my beer room at the moment and uh, uh, for the cheaper wines I thought put it in the barrel then I can do it whenever I like. Now I have already washed this barrel out so let me just spin it round now for a minute. Right, there we go. Yeah, I've already washed this barrel out already and um, sterilised it in my previous brew. Now what I use is sterilising fluid. That's similar to what you use for babies things. Um, and obviously hot water from the kettle. What you must do, so for me, one or two capfuls of that into there. Make sure it's on the off position. Pour your hot water in. Swish it round. And uh, you'll give it a few minutes. It says up to 10 minutes, you know, it's, it's all down to preference. A few minutes is, is good enough. Um, then you're going to want to wash it out, after you've sterilised it, you're going to want to wash it out but uh, let me show you how I do it right. like I said we're not in the bare room at the moment so the, the, the light's not as good and the angle's not as good so, kettle first things first cap full of this sterilising fluid, always use sterilising fluid that's it, one in, one's enough. Uh, if I'm sterilising bottles, 30 bottles, I'll put two in a sink, mixture of hot and cold, hot and cold water, so it doesn't scald my hands, but warm enough to make a, an impression on the uh, plastic. So pour the kettle in, I hope you can see this. Mm. I've quite the right height. So that's the old kettle of water poured in. Put the cap on. Get it nice and tight. This, the same thing you do for this is the same as you're going to do for your fermentation bucket. Which I'll show on another video. So I'm, I'm switching it around. You can hear the steam escaping out the top. Swishing it around. Turn the trip side down. You're going to, you might lose some water. That helps. Do the top of your um, your barrel. Because what, what 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 that'll have done? It's all it's done this bit here. Let me show you. So by turning it upside down as I'm as I'm moving it around, it's sterilised that as well. You could also um, grab a bit and sterilise it because if you're going to put stuff into the barrel. You're going to want, so it's everything sterile, the cap, this, the inside, even the tap, everything has got to be sterile, you know. If you're brewing, you don't want to brew in something and then be ill for a week, you know, the first time you drink it, or for it to go off. So, sterilisation, cleanliness is godliness in this respect. We don't want to be drinking something nasty that's, uh, you know, gone off. 
And like I say, I've already sterilised this already. So, you're going to leave it in there for 10 minutes. I don't need to because I've already done it. So, what I'm also going to do is the stuff that's in the sink there, what I'm now going to do is open the tap. Oh, I broke my tap handle. Right. And then I'm going to pour this solution now into the sink. Because what it then does, it sterilises the stuff in the sink. Or you can just, if you really wanted to, you can just uh, boil the kettle again, one capful into the sink, and stir it, you know, and sterilise it again. But it makes sense while I've got this like this. Just to do it that way. So let me pour the rest in. Just stretch it around. And that's it. Now the stuff in the sink. You know, be careful with obviously it's hot water. You know, if you obviously if you're an adult then you know you, you you know when when to and when not to. There you go. And as long you make sure you get some down that tube. That's it. And the same with this tube as well. Get some in in the tube, and so it comes both ways. I mean, really, you're going to wash this out before you even bother doing it this way. So it's only an added, you know, sterilisation process. So now, that's had its time in there. It's had a minute or so. I'm now going to wash it, rinse it all with cold water so I can actually use it to sterilise. So, get rid of the hot water. And then, cold water on everything. Because obviously now we need to get the sterilising solution out of the pipe. So that's it. And again, same again, just wash it out. Wash out a little tap. Now, back to the camera again. It's dead awkward this way, but you know. Now I need to get a, a jug. And uh, whenever you want the jug. Uh -huh. Just get some cold water. And just run a couple of pints of cold, a couple of litres of cold water in your um, your barrel or your fermentation bucket. So, get it in. For ease, I, I usually use the bath upstairs. I'll put it in the bath, fill it up with cold water, let it drain, you know. But, I'm not walking up and downstairs with the camera, so we'll do it this way. say if you use your barrel and you can see you can see through it and you can see dirt on the inside oops make sure you turn the tap off because I've just left the tap running oh no uh, yep that wasn't clever so <laughs> there's something to know after you've emptied it out with the tap turn the tap off again well, that's what's happened. That was what happens. Yeah, live and learn. Right, pour the rest of the water in. Get rid of that. It's the same like earlier. Give it a good swish round. So, good swish round. Upside down again. 
awesome through your tap. Just to you know, wash out the way the sterilizing solution that away from your tap as well. Don't need to be a lot. Right, that's it. Turn your tap off so that you're primed, ready to uh, put your beer or wine or whatever you're going to put into the barrel. And then upside down and wash it out down the sink. And now you're ready for one thing I will say is I need to buy a new you know this whatever it is it's like a liner yeah I need to buy a new one make sure that's as clean as you can get it because obviously everything goes through um, you know diseases bacteria and that you don't want you know that is I mean it's knackered but it, it is still clean but make sure that you're clean under there as well and that's it that's that side of things and uh, I'll move on to the shed and start to um, drain some wine from a bucket into a barrel. Thank you.